The following is a presentation of Radio Plus Sports. Radio Plus Sports. With five seconds left to go, trying down the right side, throwing it up, and he got it! Good ball movement, Kale Peterson, right up. up and under and in. And Gracie Goldpollen puts it up, puts it in, gets knocked to the floor and to the free throw line. Madigan dumps it for Vandenberg, tries away over Goldpollen, there's a three ball, that one's good. Harder has her, they switch on the screen. Stay with her, here's Keel inside, the paint and scores. That's a lot of contact there. Peterson with a college three point shot. Yes. Broadcast is sponsored by the following local partners. Edward Jones, Integrity Saw and Tool, Bauer Chiropractic, Bondi Family Dental, Baker Cheese, Right Way Home Improvement, Quest Interiors, Addison Jones Real Estate, Holiday Automotive, Taco Bell, Bristol Morgan Bank, Coal Oil and Propane, Pioneer Pit Stop, The Spectrum Call Center, Pizza Ranch, National Exchange Bank and Trust, LK Interior Systems, Silica for your home. Rademan Stone and Landscape, the offices of Everson and Gibbs, Bob's Pizza, AirTech, Winnebago Lutheran Academy, Musa Sheet Metal, Scotty's Auto Works, St. Mary Springs Academy, Canberra Casino, Fond du Lac Credit Union, Marchant Schmidt, New Medical Center, Dr. Kathy Doyle Kelly, DDS, Condex Corporation, Fox Valley Savings Bank, BCI Burke. Marion University. The complete broadcast schedule can be found at radioplusinfo.com. Let's go live to the Radio Plus Sports broadcast booth. Welcome Welcome. to the Fond du Lac Blue Line Ice Center here in Fond du Lac as we get ready for some non-conference boys hockey action between the Fond du Lac Cardinals and the Ashwaubenon Jaguars. Trying to switch gears here real quick. Uh, after that girls game, I spent a little bit more time down there talking to the girls after a fantastic win that the Warbirds had just finished over the USM Wildcats. Um, as we get ready here on the Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show, today's game brought to you by these Fond du Lac area Edward Jones financial advisors, Robert Bruce, Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, and Patrick Ellisted. Edward Jones making sense of investing. I do have a coach's interview here. We'll see if I can get to some of that as well as run some of our sponsorship real quick before while we're here on this pregame show. I'm going to pop back here in about five minutes and uh, touch base with you what I know about Ashwabanon and what I know about the Fond du Lac Cardinals. You're listening to Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. We'll be back. Today's game is brought to you by Edward Jones and these area Edward Jones financial advisors. Robert Bruce, located at 976 East Johnson Street. Patrick Ellistad, located at 560 Fond du Lac Avenue. Matt Moses, located at 68 North Main Street. And Jeff Wills, located at 649 Fond du Lac Avenue. Good luck to all athletes in today's game. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Integrity Saw and Tool is a proud sponsor of Fond du Lac Area Sports. They wish the best of luck to all local teams this fall and winter. Integrity prides itself on being the fastest producer of high-quality cutting tools and providing the most reliable sharpening service in the industry. If you're looking for a challenging career with excellent benefits and a family atmosphere, contact the team at IntegritySaw.com. That's IntegritySaw.com. Dr. Shane Bauer of Bauer Chiropractic for progressive and traditional chiropractic care. If you're in pain, Bauer Chiropractic offers unique ways to provide relief for many types of pain and conditions. New to this area is MLS Class 4 Cold Laser Therapy, which can be very effective with treating many nagging injuries such as plantar fasciitis, tennis elbow, shoulder pain, knee pain, and many others. Pain relief and prevention are two reasons to see Dr. Shane Bauer at 355 North Peters Avenue, Fond du Lac, or log on BauerChiroFDL.com. People have a reluctance to go see the dentist. It's an easy thing to put off or avoid altogether. But one visit to the caring professionals at Fondi Family Dental will change the way you think about the dentist. They provide quality family dental services to all ages in a happy, honest, and efficient manner that teaches and involves you on your custom plan. If you don't have insurance, ask about their new membership plan that can save you money. Call or schedule online today at FondiFamilyDental.com. 
Baker Cheese, producing award-winning cheese since 1916. Not only can you find fresh Baker Cheese at your local grocer, make the short drive to their in-house country cheese store. Over 100 varieties of other cheeses from the best cheesemakers in Wisconsin. Take Highway 23, go south on G3 miles, and follow the freshness. Visit BakerCheese.com. Baker Cheese, a Wisconsin cheese heritage since 1916. You dream it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops just for your space. And buying direct saves you money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Real estate is something that we are doing together. We're in it together till the end, uh, the best achievement that I can have is when the property successfully closes. Probably the most rewarding part of my, my role with Addison Jones and Signature Homes is the ability to take a client from the very beginning stages of building a new home, home all the way down to the point where we turn the key and move them in and watch their eyes light up as they see the finished product. Buy it, sell it, build it. That's Addison Jones. This holiday season, experience the joy of a new vehicle. Our genuine customer care. Get more for your trade and lock in rates as low as 3.9% on Buick and GMC favorites. We make fans of customers by making car buying fun, easy, and hassle-free. It's part of our culture here at Holiday. This team gets it. I'm a fan. You really feel their passion for doing things right. I'm Wisconsin running back Braylon Allen, and I drive Holiday. Find yours and discover the difference at Holiday Automotive Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip. That melty cheese you crave with double the steak is back at Taco Bell. The double steak grilled cheese burrito. Apply now to qualify for the Sabre Award, a $500 per year scholarship at Marion University. Be admitted by January 1st and receive a $2,000 scholarship towards your degree. The Sabre Award is granted in addition to other scholarships, awards, and discounts. 100% of Marion University students receive financial assistance. College is affordable. Apply now at marionuniversity.edu forward slash apply. Welcome back here to the Fond du Lac Blue Line as we get ready for some non-conference boys hockey action. Let's see what I can get out shared here before the introductions start to come out here. Let's talk a little bit about what I know from Ash Wabanon taking a look on prep hockey. Head coach Matt Golden, 6-1 and one record this year. It's a co-op between Pulaski, Seymour, Wrightstown, and Ashwabanon. Leading scorer is number three, Anthony Steffen, with seven goals. Second leading scorer is number nine, Jackson Lampierre, with five. And then tied with four is Caden Van Dyce and Caden Bartlemé, each with four goals. Leading assist goes to Matt Shu, number, uh, number two, with ten assists. Number four, Caden Bartlemé, with... Five and number five, Charlie Laurent, also with five assists. Giving leading points goes to number two, Matt Shu with 13. Stefan with nine, Bartlemé with nine. In net will be number 30, Lincoln Simons. An outstanding goalie for Ash Wabanon. And again, this conference has really ramped things up um, as Matt Golden has done a great job of building his Ash Wabanon team as well as Bayport has as well. Lincoln Simons, number 30s, had 145 shots in those seven games, 139 saves. That's 95.9, 96 save percentage, giving up six goals. That's a .9, less than one goal against average. Four shutouts on the season, and he's 6-1. and one. Ash Wabanon likes to jump out on their opponents quickly. In the first period, they've outscored their opponents 11-1. 12 to 2 in the second period and 9 to 3 in the third. That's 32 points compared to 6 points for their opponents. Let's take a look at a little bit about the Fond du Lac Cardinals here as we get ready for these teams to come onto the ice. Number 20, Blake Spees is the uh, number 
uh, has the leading scorer with five. He's tied with Drake Dianovic. He's got five as well. And Connor Klaprich has three goals for the team. Number 20, Blake Spees, is also the leading assist getter with five. He's tied with Connor Klaprich with five. And Drake Dianovic has three. That gives leading points goes to number five, or sorry, number 20, Blake Spees. He's got 10 points. Uh, number 10, Drake Dianovic with eight, tied with number 19, Connor Klaprich. In net will be the sophomore goalie, number 33, Spencer Schober. He has faced in their seven games so far, 197 shots, saved 180. That's a 91.4 save percentage. He's given up 17 goals, 2.51 goals against uh, so far for the young goalie who is a TW player, Spencer Schober, who did a fantastic job getting experience uh, last year as a freshman. Fond du Lac, period one, they've t almost equaled their opponents, eight to seven. They've scored twice as much in the second period, six to three. And in the third period, they've fallen apart. They've given up nine goals compared to six. We'll see if I can get the starting lineups here as it comes through by the announcer. I'm also working on seeing if I can get hooked back up uh, the Quest interior scoreboard. I was unfortunate. I couldn't get it to, to operate in the girls' game, which was very unfortunate. Starting lineups here sponsored by Number seven, Baker Cheese. Starting lineups are going to be in forward is going to be Matt Shook, number two, Caden Van Dyce, number seven, and number nine, Jackson Lampierre. And that defense will be number 10, Zach Westcott, and Mason Murray, number 19. Starting lineups here for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. It's their 50th anniversary with having high school hockey. Spencer Schobert starting in goal. Number 33. One defense will be Aiden Hefner. And number 19, Connor Klaprich, he will be the other uh, defenseman. Starting at forwards will be number 10, Drake Dianovich. Uh, number 20, Blake Spees will be the center. And number 34, Ryan Marks will be the other uh, wing for Coach Ryan Sarazen of the uh, Cardinals. This is the 19th year for Coach Sarazen. And their last contest, they beat Fond du Lac two to, or beat Appleton two to one on December thirteenth, and they'll be taking on for the Cowan Cup on the twentieth. We're going to step away here, so we get ready here for this contest. You're listening to Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. Since 1933, you've come to trust Spies Painting for painting, sandblasting, and equipment restoration. Spies Painting does industrial, commercial, and residential. Not just painting, but wall covering, power washing, specialty coating, sandblasting, parts painting, and more. Highway 151 Fond du Lac. Good luck to the Cardinals and Warbirds in your games this week from the team at Spies Painting. Log on, SpiesPainting.com. 
For over 100 years, the name coal is synonymous with quality fuels, lubricants, and propane. That's because coal is the area's trusted source for farm, construction, and trucking companies, as they partner with these companies to help them achieve their unique goals. The team at Coal Oil & Propane is dedicated to serving you. They pride themselves on a customer-first approach and work hard to make sure you're satisfied. You can rely on coal for prompt delivery, competitive prices, and quality service. Learn more at coaloilandpropane.com. People have a reluctance to go see the dentist. It's an easy thing to put off or avoid altogether. But one visit to the caring professionals at Fondy Family Dental will change the way you think about the dentist. They provide quality family dental services to all ages in a happy, honest, and efficient manner that teaches and involves you on your custom plan. If you don't have insurance, ask about their new membership plan that can save you money. Call or schedule online today at FondyFamilyDental.com. Welcome back here to Fond du Lac as we get ready to start this contest here with the Right Way Home Improvement's opening puck drop from doors and gutters to roofs and siding. Right Way Home Improvement has you covered. Kick off your home project today. Contact Right Way Home Improvement today for your free estimate. Call 920-929-8999 or visit rightwaybuilt.com. Dot com. We'll get back to, there was no injuries on the Bauer Chiropractic Injury Report. Uh, got pain, see Shane. Dr. Shane Bauer, Bauer Chiropractic, voted Fond du Lac's favorite chiropractor in a recent Reader's Choice poll. And uh, we'll talk about the dental, uh, Coach's smile. I'm going to give Coach Saracen's uh, interview at the second, or at the first intermission. I didn't have enough time switching between the boys and girls games to get everything all set up. And unfortunately, my Quest Interior scoreboard camera still is not uh, showing me what I would like it to show me, so I'm not sure exactly what that is. Here we go with that puck drop, and the Cardinals will win the drop. Skating with it as hard as number 34. That's going to be Ryan Marks. Wraps it around off of the boards, picked up there by number 3, Aiden Hefner, to hold it in. Trying to get it into the neutral zone. Pops just past the blue line, so they're going to have to go in and tag up and uh, reset. Good pressure here. Shot. Blocker saved by Simon. Hefner holding the board, has it, skates, drops it back down low to number 20. Blake Spees. Spees has it. Gave it over. Sitting in front. Penalty is called, so there's going to be an opportunity once they get a hold of it. Simon New saw the hand. He gets up, picked up there, going with speed is number seven. Gets past the defense, had him on the backside as that was Caden Van Dyce trying to get it over and feed, and there's going to be a whistle with the penalty. Going into the box for the first penalty is going to be number 10, Dianovic. I didn't see what the call was. See if they, what they give me here on the announcements. At the 16.04 mark for Fond du Lac, going to have to get on the power play here, or sorry, penalty kill right away. Tries to clear it, held in nicely by number 10, Zach Westcott brings it over to number two, Matt Shook, back to Westcott. Over to number seven, Van Dyce. Tripping is the call. Cleared down by the Cardinals. Simon's going to grab it, play it over. He gives it back over to number two again. That's Shook. Shook skates in, drops it cross ice, and that's going to be an icing, and that's going to bring it all the way back down I believe it'll be to the blocker side of Simon. One of the top goalies in the state right now here for uh, the Ashwaubenon Jaguars. 96% on the save percentage. Buck drop picked up there. Number 18 is going to pick it up for Ashwaubenon. That's Caden Dorn. He moves it over to number 11, Caden Szeski. Good body check there by number six, Jace Weber, the captain for the Cardinals. Still no shot on goal here with almost one minute gone on the power play for Ash Wabadon. Just going to see if I can reach back and find my papers, what I had written down for that information. Picked off again at neutral ice. 
Dropping back, 15.01 on the Quest Interior scoreboard clock. 55 seconds left on the power play. Has a chance here working it in. Schober makes a good read and gets on top of it and smothers the puck getting the save. And I know that my instant replay is not working either, so I can't show you that as well. Let me see if I can find that uh, information that I was talking about before for these two teams. Don't know what I did with it. I'll have to see if I can find it out here. Popped into the neutral zone. Moving to puck is Zach Westcott. Swings it over to Van Dice. Van Dice goes in hard into the corner. Picks it up. Good four-check pressure there by Fond du Lac. I believe that was number 18. We'll pick that up. Ryan Lenz. And 23 seconds left on the power play for Ash Wabanon. One shot on goal. In this power play opportunity, that's going to ring around the boards. Going to go all the way down. Simon's going to stop it. And he's going to give it over to Westcott. Westcott comes up the center of the ice. Makes a move in the neutral zone. Both teams, both Shot towards the net. Feet are in the way. That's number six again for Fond du Lac. Icing. Simon gives the sign to his players. They hold up. And it's going to be icing at 13.51 left here on the Quest Interiors. That was Jace Weber before who had his feet in the way to block that first shot. Towards the net. In at center right now is going to be Jackson Watruba. He's going to be kicked out. Number 17, Isaac Therian goes in. Fond du Lac wins the draw again. I didn't see who the Fond du Lac uh, center was at that time. I'll see if I can pick that up the next time. Comes back into the neutral zone. Fond du Lac has numbers. Good pass out there by number 20. Trying to get it ahead was Blake Spees. Trying to get it out to Drake Dianovic. Centered. Good save there by Simon. As he saw it coming right back out. A good attack by the Cardinals. That's going to be picked up by Tyson Craig. One on one. Coming win in support off of the blocker again. Nice job there. Simon comes way out and challenges at the top of the crease plus, which is exactly what you want to do on a breakaway opportunity. Jace Weber picks it up. Comes back. Here's a shot by Ash Wabanon over the top of Schober. Back to the center of the ice. Going to be dumped down. Comes off the dasher board. Going to be picked up there by number 19, Mason Murray. He looks, almost turned it over. Right on the stick of Caden Van Dyce. Van Dyce comes through the middle. Tried to make the pass over. Should be a really good contest today between the Cardinals and the Jaguars. 12.28 left here on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Pitch forked up into the air by number three. That's going to be Aiden Hefner. He sends it all the way down. No icing. Good forecheck coming in by number 15, Caden Umentum. Good movement here by the puck. That's going to be picked up. Van Dyce shot wide into the corner. Ricochets all the way out. Picked up by Murray for Ash Wabanon. He centers it over to Westcott. Picked up here by Shook. Taken away by the Cardinals. Ashwabanon going to reset. Taken there by number 18, Caden Dorn. Gives it over to 17, Isaac Therian. Therian has it. Tried to shoot it towards the net. Missed off to the side of the close or the near side post. Back into the corner. Picked up, shot wide of the net once again. Trying to chip it clear is Camden Guyette. Going to pick it up is Hefner. He pitchforks it again down. It's going to be an icing at the 11.08 mark here in the first period. Only one shot on goal so far. That was during the power play. And Spencer Schober was able to turn that one away.
One off to the side by number 15 for Ash Wabana, and that was Jackson Wotruba. Up against the boards, trying to clear it out, and does get it in the neutral zone. Going to be dumb back in. Both tees, both guys tag back up. Skating with it. Ashwabanon's going to go reset. Pullen sends it over to Dorn. Changing directions again. Pullen's going to go pick it up. Good pressure there by number nine, James Murphy. Banged off the glass trying to get it down. They got numbers again. Two on two here. 15 saved there by Schober on that shot by Wotruba. And it's going to be picked up by Tyson Craig. Pops it into the air. Gets into the neutral zone. Grabbing it and working with it is number 19, Mason Murray. Chip back out into the neutral zone. Trying to give chase and trying to get there first is Dianovic. Does not and it becomes an icing at the 10.04 mark here in the first period. On the Quest Interiors scoreboard, you're listening to Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. Fast and furious action here already between these two teams. Had talked about it before. Ash Wabanon likes to get on top of you early. Fondlax has been able to handle it. Good job there seeing it all the way and grabbing it with the big trapper on the left-hand side of Spencer Schober. One forward by number seven, Caden Van Dyce. See that much more. Behind, though, good defensive numbers again. That's number 19, Connor Klaprich. Dianovic gets in. Oh. Slamming on the brakes, changing directions as Westcott moves it up here against the boards. Gets it over to Lampierre. He's going to drop it down to Shook, Shook drops it down low. Behind the net, battling for it, picking up the puck. Tried to get it back out, Schober was right there on the post to read it. Staying high in there, not much room, just a little bit above the head. Dianovic again, giving pressure. Against Westcott, gets there on the four check. Helps stop the attack, Hefner with it down here in front. Moves it into the zone. Picked up there by number 15, Umentum. Held in by number four, Will Mothy. Ashwabanon with possession, gets it out. Skating with it is Lampierre. Tried to get a shot off, good defensive play there by number eight for the Cardinals, Tyson Craig. Still held in the zone here by Ashwabanon. Jaguars doing a good job of zone time here on the offensive side. Just past the halfway mark, 820 here in the first period on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Zeros for both teams. Blocked by the shin guards, nice job staying right tall. Keeping those legs closed, skating back the other way. It's number eight, Craig. He has it, slams on the brakes, tried to feed it in the center. It's going to be picked off there by Steffen. Anthony Steffen gets around. Shot towards Schober. Good job there by number seven, Camden Guyette. To be poke checking that out of the way. Tries to feed it on, waved off on the icing. Coming on hard on the four check is going to be James Murphy. He gets there first. He's got support by Guyette. Gets it out front. Chipped up, cross-ice pass. Picked up there by Hefner. Held in there still by Ash Wabanon in the corner. Skating back out of it, number 14, Austin Hughes. Turning and burning is gonna be Ethan Pullen. Slams on the brakes, good read there by number 20. Blake Spees almost picking that off. Marks and Spees out there with Dianovic. Good job there, Simon again closes, gets there and recovers in time, still down on the ice. And a great save there by Spees, a good attack by the offense. Hefner reads that chipped, 
Going in with speed first is Mitchell Specht. Turning and coming back the other way. Connor Claprich, he has it. Shot towards the net. Easy save for Simon. Puts it behind him. Dianovic with some pressure in the offensive zone. Up against the boards. Taken away by Zach Westcott. Changes directions to Lampier. Skating with it is Lampier. Dumps it down low. Schober's on it. Pulls it with a stick behind him. Keeping the clock running. Slamming on the brakes is Craig. For Fond du Lac. Trying to make a couple of moves. It's number seven. Van Dice. Comes out. Van Dice with it. Changes positions. Dumps into the corner. Takes a nice bounce, gets past. Icing is waved off as it goes underneath the stick. Stays right behind the net. Picked up there by Pullen. Tried to hit Shook. Good speed on this Ash Wabanon team, watching them flying around there on the ice. The Cardinals are staying right with them. Weber skating it through the middle, takes and tries to get around the defense. Oh, had to, had help on the backside. Simon had committed, may have gotten a tip past him, but a good tie up there by the defenseman for Ash Wabanon. And there'll be a whistle at the 4.51 mark. Not been much stop of action here. As these teams have been doing a good job of staying out of the penalty box, moving the pucks tick, uh, tape to tape, end to end. Good attacks on both sides. Ashwabanon has probably had the most zone time, though, on the offensive side, and that makes sense when you take a look at... Said he could have touched it, so they'd wave it off. Hefner banks it off of the glass. Contact there by Will Mothy. Just a little rub. Slams on, turns inside. That was number 18, Ryan Lenz for the Cardinals. Back in the neutral zone, right in front of the box. Good check there by number 15, Caden Umentum. Westcott for the Jaguars. Good man-to-man -man pressure here by the Cardinals. Matching up with the Jaguars and staying in there and then keeping zone time. Dump down. They tag up right away since they were all battling at the line. Westcott tries to get the breakout to the sidewall. Goes underneath the stick again. Schober's going to stop it behind the net. Leave it for Hefner. Hefner blows, loses it right behind. And it's going to be picked up there by number eight, I believe. That was Tyson Craig. Hope that was number nine. My apologies. James Murphy. Drop down low. 325 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. And again, amazing job here with how fast this game is flying by here in this first period. Ash Wabanon moving the puck up and down the ice pretty well, but Fond du Lac's been countering really well and putting some pressure down. That's going to be chipped in by Dianovic. He's going to try and get there first. He does. Good speed by Dianovic. Wraps it back around. Gives it to Marks back. Take that back. That was Spees trying to get it back to Dianovic. Tagan back up. Now drop it down low. Check by her four check by Marks into the corner. Ashwabanon trying to break it out to the sidewall. They do. Chipped by number 14, Braden Becks. It's trying to go low. It's, that's going to be picked up by Weber. Weber slams on the brakes, comes back out here to Dianovic at the blue line. Cross ice pass to try and get it to Marks. Has it, tried to get it back in the center. Nobody there for the Cardinals. Marks has it on his stick, holding it in the offensive zone. Spees tried to center, nobody there. Weber pinches, holds it down. Spees back again, this time tried to get it to Marks, who just a little bit off the mark. Coming back the other way is Lampier. Good job there by the Cardinal defense, getting all over Lampier with three guys collapsing back. 
Still held in by Ash Wabanon. Matt Shook. Good job there again by Shook with a stick. Tried to get it out front. Good job there. Keeping the stick on the ice. Tyson Craig. Waved off. Long stretch. He's calling for it. Doesn't get it in time. Tipped down low. Van Dice had a chance for the Jags. 130 and counting here in the first period on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Chip giving a chase. It's going to be number 18, Ryan Lenz. Gets there. Taken away by 19, Mason Murray. Shot towards it. Simon puts a stick on it, puts it right behind him. Chipped into the net, or into the bench. Well, I thought it went into the bench, but I guess not. The official was right there. Good hustle there by Caden Sizuski, or Sizeski. Sorry about that. One minute left here in the period. Talk about a fast period of hockey. Comes back out into the neutral zone. It's been physical, but not super physical. But there's going to be another penalty coming up on Fond du Lac. As there is a cross check. Yep, that was right in the back. You could see that coming. I think that's going to be called on number three for Fond du Lac. 44 seconds left here in the first period to Aiden Hefner with a cross check. It's going to give a second chance here for the Ashwabanon Jaguars to go and work their power play. Setting up their offense. You've got Lampier, or sorry, number seven out there, Van Dice, with number three, Stefan. Number 14, Bex. Cross ice over here to number two. Good job of getting those shin guards in the way by Dianovic. Number 10 is Westcott. Cleared down, all the way down. 18 seconds left. Surprised that Simon didn't try and come on out and help to give one more chance on the attack. Shook, and it's offsides. Oh, Trip is going to be called, and I'm not sure who that's on. Number 14 to even things up here at eight seconds left. Was a trip was the call. They called it really quick, so I got to be paying attention to these officials. Braden Becks for a trip. Eight, four on four hockey here for remaining eight seconds. It's going to come down, and that's going to do it here for the first period on the Quest Interior scoreboard. 0-0 zero, zero is your score on that Quest Interior scoreboard. No, many shots. We'll see if they update them here because I'm pretty sure Simon had probably about six saves, I'm guessing, somewhere in there. Maybe a little bit more. We'll see what they're going to put up on the scoreboard. Schober, I definitely know he had, I'm guessing he had five or six saves as well. We're going to step aside here for, and listen to our sponsors, and we'll be back to talk about what has happened here in the first period once I get some of those numbers coming up as well. You're listening to Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. Fond du Lac Cardinals Hockey here on Saturday afternoon. One of the neatest projects and programs that we have that I truly believe in is our Five Cents for the Future program. Every time a customer swipes their Bristol Morgan Bank debit card, we donate five cents to our scholarship fund, which is administered by the Fond du Lac Area Foundation. And we provide scholarships for local students that are going to two-year, four-year school. We're there for a, up to a four-year renewable scholarship. Bristol Morgan Bank. Locations in Oakfield, Fond du Lac, Brandon, and Van Dyne. Log on, BristolMorganBank.com. For over 100 years, the name coal is synonymous with quality fuels, lubricants, and propane. That's because coal is the area's trusted source for farm, construction, and trucking companies as they partner with these companies to help them achieve their unique goals. The team at Coal Oil and Propane is dedicated to serving you. They pride themselves on a customer-first approach and work hard to make sure you're satisfied. You can rely on coal for prompt delivery, competitive prices, and quality service. Learn more at CoalOilAndPropane.com. Hey, 
Fond du Lac's best kept secret is no more. Operation Best Chicken and Friday Fish from a Sea Store is out. Pioneer Pit Stop. Yes, Pioneer Pit Stop has some of the best takeout in town. The best part? No reservations needed. No need to drive halfway across the country. No special dress code, other than you need to be dressed. You're in and out with piping hot chicken or fish that you thought came from a supper club. Of course, fuel, beer, liquor, ice, snacks, groceries, and tons of other things we all need are always in stock. Pioneer Pit Stop, 20 East Pioneer Road, across from Tucker's on South Main Street. It's Fishlicious. A new career path awaits you. Spectrum is hiring in your area and offering a starting wage of $20 an hour. Whether you're looking to help customers, share knowledge, make connections, or enjoy uncapped earning potential, there's a spot for you at Spectrum, the nation's fastest growing internet, TV, and mobile provider. Plus, get paid on the job training, affordable health care coverage, market leading savings plan, and complimentary Spectrum services. Visit jobs.spectrum.com today. Here at Pizza Ranch, we believe in happy accidents. Like in 1964, when a Buffalo, New York restaurant owner accidentally bought chicken wings instead of chicken necks. The 60s were a crazy time. Well, decades later, and the mistake turned masterpiece is now at Pizza Ranch. Introducing our new traditional and boneless chicken wings, tossed in our signature sauces. Two more ways to get the country's best chicken available for carryout and delivery. Maybe it wasn't an accident after all. Just delicious fate. Pizza Ranch. Mmm, mmm. Now more than ever, hospitality, restaurants, and retail enterprises demand the quality and innovation LK Interior Systems delivers. EIS takes ever-changing design trends and transforms them into meaningful and memorable customer experiences. Take pride in your work and apply at LKInteriorSystems.com. Hi, I'm Shannon Schill from LK Interior Systems in Fond du Lac. We are thrilled to be adding to our family. Our shift times can be uniquely flexible because we understand that there's life outside of work. Go to LKInteriorSystems.com to learn more about our open positions. Hi everyone, I'm Josh Schneider with Silica for Your Home. We get innovative products in every day at Silica. I think one of the coolest things we have right now is something we don't even sell, our new digital price tags. We know you're busy, so these tags do the shopping for you. They search the internet twice a day, and if they find a product at a lower price, it automatically changes the Silica price. Shop Silica for the best sales, service, and pricing every day. So come on in and check them out. We hope to see you soon. The Rademan family has been quarrying and producing natural stone products for over 50 years. Hi, I'm Brock Rademan with the Rademan Stone and Landscape Company. As the first member of our fourth generation family owned business, I'm proud to carry on the tradition of providing quality stone products to Fond du Lac and the surrounding areas. Is your driveway in need of repair? Here at Rademan's, our Crest Stone Division provides our customer with stone needed for maintaining your gravel driveway. Our Quarry Stone Division provides landscape stones such as stepping stones and retaining wall stone for your outdoor living area. Areas. We also offer natural thin and full veneer stone for interior applications such as fireplaces or outdoor applications to combine with or replace your siding or brick. Whether building or remodeling, veneer stone can add a natural look and feel to your home. Our natural stone is available in many different textures, sizes, colors, and cuts. Stop out at Rademan's and see our indoor-outdoor stone displays or like us on Facebook to see some finished projects. Rademan Stone and Landscape Company, where we have the materials to do the best work on earth. Welcome back here. Welcome I'm doing a here. little bit of messing around with my cameras to see where I might be having some issues with uh, the uh, scoreboard clock. So just bear with me as I continue to play around with this a little bit. Let's see if we can talk a little bit more about what's happening with uh, this contest here. Really quick first period, very clean. Uh, Fond du Lac had two penalties. The first one came in at the... 1604 mark, it was a tripping call on uh, Drake Dianovich, and they were able to kill that one off. Then they had a, picked up a second penalty with 44 seconds left. That was on number three, Aiden Hefner, a cross check down in the corner. You could see that he had knocked a player who was coming back off of the boards, but thanks to uh, number 14, Braden Becks for Ashwabanon. At, the, at about eight seconds left in the period, he came back and got a tripping penalty as well. Um, 
making it uh, sorry about that uh, evening and evening things up here in the period I'm gonna step aside here we're gonna come back here I'm gonna listen to uh, coach Ryan Saracen's uh, interview that we had with him at the beginning of this contest and uh, I'll be back after this interview. You're listening to Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. Welcome back Welcome here to, back the here to the Integrity Saw, 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 Integrity Saw, Saw, Saw and Tool and pregame show. Right now right I've right got now with me got Coach Ryan, Ryan Sarazen here for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Cardinals. Coach, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm really excited for the opportunity to get a chance to see your team. I haven't had that many opportunities here so far. Um, but uh, from what I'm seeing so far, pretty decent on the season, 4-3. and three. Yeah, good start. Um, you know, we had our up and down games, but uh, in our goal setting, we played some tough teams here early, and uh, yeah, we're we're just we're feeling it out, uh, growing every day, and uh, you know that's all we can ask. So, yeah, we we like where we're at, and uh, again, coming into the holiday season. Yeah, from what I saw again, uh, you've put yourself a pretty loaded schedule once again by uh, picking up a uh, uh, Bayport and picking up Wanakee. And Chippewa Falls, uh, so far added to the non-conference schedule. Now you're going to add Ash Wabanon. Uh, what were your thoughts behind that? Yeah, we just want to play the best teams, and regardless of record or schedule, if we want to be where at the end of the year where we, you know, where our goals say that we got to play those teams. So, picking up the Chippewa Falls, Chwabanon, Bayport, Stevens Point, we have later in the year. I mean, this, these are some of the top teams in the state. So we, we want to see them. We don't want to back away from them. Yeah, and, I, and that's fantastic, I think, from the – it's not about wins and losses, right? And mm -hmm. uh, Coach Welsh, first time I ever heard it, so that's why I'm giving him credit, mm -hmm. talked about it's February 15th, really. That's yep. your target date, right? Correct. You're playing the best then, and those are the teams you got to beat then. So. so tell me a little bit about today's contest here. We're going to be taking on the Ashwaubenon Jaguars. Yeah, Ashwaubenon, very good team, well coached. Matt does a great job with them. Um, they've just been really solid, improving their program the last few years, and uh, – it, I've really been impressed. Um, they somewhat we took it to us on the road last year up there, and they've been improving, good goaltending. And, uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to have our hands full here today, and uh, we're excited for that. So, And you're, you're going to be putting in net again uh, as a sophomore, correct? Yeah, Spencer's a sophomore. Um, he is um, really a rock back there. Um, solid TW kid, ready to roll. So. Yeah, he he was. I believe he was your starter last year as yeah. well as a freshman. So he got all right. kinds of experience there, and you guys still did a pretty good run uh, from last year. So I was just thinking that the extra um, year that he's had and had the chance to play with TW certainly would help things out there. Yeah, he played all the games for us last year. It was steady as a freshman. wasn't too big. The moment wasn't too big for him, and uh, we're just going to continue to grow him. And uh, and we have four goaltenders this year, which is nice. Uh, a good depth. Feast or famine, right, with goaltenders. <laughs> right. You either have one or none or <laughs> five, you know, so it's uh, one of those things. But we like where we're at, and even if Spencer, you know, we like what we have backing up, And uh, but he's been the guy so far. 91% save percentage, 2.51 goals against. That's incredible. Uh, so talk about a little bit on the offense. I'm looking at your numbers here a little bit. They seem a little bit down. Down, yep. Young forward group. Um, you know, we knew it was going to be one of those areas to focus on. So we're solid in goal, solid on the back end, and just, just young. You can see sophomores across the line up there. So their roles are different now with Brett Sobel gone and some of these guys. He was 80, 70, 80% of our scoring last year. So now everybody's got to do it and pick, fill, in those, uh, fill in those gaps or fill the roles there. And I think they're doing a nice job. They're starting to grow and, and come into it. So. I, yeah, I would agree. They're pretty balanced from what I was able to see, so uh, it's it's great to, to see that kind. So just talk a little bit about, I know that you need to get down there for warm-ups here, but to talk a little bit about the Badgerland, what you're seeing. Uh, I think it's um, still a tough conference. I do, I do. I think I really always stand up for the Badgerland um, with teams like Springs, Nina. I thought we played Appleton Tuesday, much improved, I thought. Or they're doing a nice job. They grind uh, ground us down to a 2-1, or we won a, a 2-1 game, but... I like where they're at, and uh, you always have, like, La Pond's a great rivalry for us. I mean, I just think overall, you know, pretty good overall. So I, I like where we're at. Sounds great. Yep. And so far, like where you're at as a team, uh, how about uh, what will make you smile today? Uh, what will make me smile is if number four 
for us puts in a goal. Okay, okay. number four. We've been talking to him. Uh, he's extremely good kid, hard worker, and uh, he has all the chances in the world. I think he's going to explode, and I'm just waiting for that to happen. Excellent. So uh, the other, uh, so that was our Foundy Family Dental Coach's Smile, uh, the Bauer Chiropractic Injury Report. Any injuries you got out there? Uh, no, we're pretty healthy right now, knock on wood. That is awesome, especially with all the viruses and stuff that's going on. So I'm glad to hear that that's with you guys. Coach Ryan Saracen, thanks for joining us today on the pregame show, the Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show. Good luck today in this contest. Um, and we'll hopefully get a chance to talk with you on the ice after the game. Sounds good, thanks. All right, thanks all right, again, thanks. Coach. Since 1933, you've come to trust Spies Painting for painting, sandblasting, and equipment restoration. Spies Painting does industrial, commercial, and residential. Not just painting, but wall covering, power washing, specialty coating, sandblasting, parts painting, and more. Highway 151 Fond du Lac. Good luck to the Cardinals and Warbirds in your games this week. From the team at Spies Painting, log on SpiesPainting.com. Welcome back here Welcome to Fond du Lac as we get ready for the drop of the puck here in the second period. Shot on right away onto Simon. Four on four hockey here for about a minute and five seconds. It's up on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Could not figure out for the life of me why I cannot get my uh, scoreboard camera working. So it's kind of really frustrating right now for me. So I'm don't know what exactly it was as I did a restart uh, before the game started. So I'll try and make sure that I'm calling it out so that you guys are able to continue to uh, see this contest and understand what's happening here. So down to 30 seconds left on four on four hockey. Skating with it is number two, Matt Shook for Ash Wabanon. Really good first period of play. Moved out. Van Dice shot on Schober. Good save there. They got it up on the shot totals right now, so they'll get it updated eventually. Skating back with it is Stefan. Good stretch pass there, trying to get it into the zone. And that's going to do it for the power play, or sorry, the four on four. Back to full strength here for the Cardinals. For 25 seconds, Ashwaban has decided that they're going to put all kinds of pressure. Tackle there by number three, I believe it is. So there's going to be a chance here. Schober's going to head to the bench. Fondlack, and it's going to be touched up there by Ashwabanon. And we're going to have a holding penalty that's going to be called on number three. And that's going to give them five on three. For about 10 seconds on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Two minutes for number three, Anthony Steffen, holding. And the Cardinals are going to have a chance here. It's going to be cleared. That's going to do it for the five on three, but they're still going to have a power play here opportunity to get things working. Schober stops it behind the net. Gives a chance for Hefner to get things rolling. Clapperich tries to make a couple of moves. So they're putting some pressure on him. It's going to be dumped down low. See who gets there first. It's going to be number 20, Spees. Comes out by Dianovich. Clapperich swings it over to Hefner. Trying to get something set up here. Coming down a minute 20 left on the power play. So far, gets back in front to Clapbridge. Oops, sorry, Ryan Lenz, my apologies. Hefner pulls the trigger wide of the net. That's Clapbridge who's going to pinch and hold it in. Gets it over to Hefner. Hefner tries to put it towards the net. Good job there by number 10, Zach Westcott, to clear in front of Simon. Another penalty is coming here. Schober gets to the net. It's going to be touched by number seven. Gets it back out front. Turns, fires. Simon gets a pad on it. They're killing penalty time. 
Shot towards the net. Simon grabs a hold of it, and it's going to be touched there. They're going to get the whistle, so it'll be five on three for 35 seconds. Good job there by Ashwabanon not getting possession. So they're going to have another penalty here for Ashwabanon. That's going to be number seven, Caden Van Dyce. I didn't see again what the penalty was. I got to look quickly because they call it so fast. Tripping is the call on Van Dyce. 35 seconds here of a five on three power play. Very aggressive play there by Shook. With only two to three defenders there. It's gonna be pinched and held in there by Craig. Comes all the way over to Weber. Craig with it again, trying to run across the top. Weber's in the mid slot there, steps in. Take good stick activity there by Zach Westcott to take it away. And it's going to be sent all the way down. Killing off one of them. It will be 125 of power play time again for Fond du Lac. Not having much success getting anything set up and working. In the corner. Right on the side of the net. Simon's right there. Does not panic. Has it taken away from underneath his glove. By number nine, James Murphy. It just stays right there. 111. Power play time left. Still 1303. Quest interior. Hefner with it across that the blue line. Work shot towards the net with the screening. Simon gets on the ricochet and gets the stoppage. 102 left on the power play. 1254 on the clock for the Quest Interior scoreboard. Pitch back, one there by Ruffing is gonna be called on number 20. Now after having a pretty clean period, it's gonna be a rough on Fond du Lac at the 12.50 mark. We'll have 58 seconds of a high stick. I thought he called it a rough high stick. Four on four hockey for 55 seconds. Fond du Lac with it, breaking it out up along the boards. Chris Crossan, shot. Blocker save there. Nice shot put on by number 34, Ryan Marks. Simon was ready for it easily. Pitch fort down the ice. That should be icing. It is. And that's going to give a change and bring the faceoff back down here to the blocker side of number 30, Lincoln Simons. Twelve twenty-two left here on the Quest Interior scoreboard. 29 seconds of 4 and 4 hockey before Ashwabanon will go on the power play. One by Ashwabanon. Killing a little bit of time right now to see if they can get their power play set up. Hounding him is Dianovic. Skating with it is Shook. Shook makes a good move, tries to get in. Schober is ready there for the challenge. Never got to him. Dianovic chips it. It's going to be an icing. No, they're going to wave it off because it was a power play now for Ashwabanon. Dianovic doing a good job of tying him up, trying to get the puck. Shook with it. Down low, slams on the brakes, brings it back out to. Number seven, Van Dyce. Back to Shook in the slot. Swings it over to number 13, Ethan Pullen. Pullen has it again. Tried to get it across ice as or number seven. I think he was trying to get a Van Dyce crash, and Van Dyce does take control. Keeps the puck. Dianovic with a little bit of a bump. 
Comes out to Westcott. Westcott running it. Swings it. They're going too high. Loses it off of the stick, but a good job there. And it works out. And we got a whistle for offsides. And killed off the penalty at 10.47. It's going to be a full strength. And at center is going to be number 15, Jackson Wotruba. And number 15, Caden Umentum for Fond du Lac. One by Wotruba. Dump down low, trying to go after it. Picking it up with time is number 19, Connor Clapridge. He looks cross ice, good, right on the stick, hits number 18, Ryan Lenz. Lenz skates across the blue line, slams on the brakes, comes back out. He's gonna come all the way down. Back with it is Fond du Lac. Lenz gives it a tip, drops it down into the corner. Held in. Back at the line. Swung over to Weber. Weber has it. Skates across. Makes a couple of good moves. Shot wide of the net. And up against the boards. Fond du Lac still with possession. Number eight hops into Simon's glove. So that was Tyson Craig with the shot. Nine thirty-eight left here in the second period for the Quest Interior scoreboard. Murphy was in at center for Fonlac. Ashwabanon with possession, skating it into the corner, trying to break it out. Gets it across the board. Good hard hit by fourteen. They're going to call it charging. It's going to go to Fond du Lac. Austin Hughes at the 920 mark, charging. Let's continue to skate after him after he had lost the puck. So 920 left here on the Quest Interior scoreboard here in the second period. Two minutes on the clock. Hefner trying to clear, does get it out, and coming with speed is Spees. He's got help, two on two. Decides to fall back is Dianovic. Kill a little bit of time. Skating back with his number 10, Westcott. Good hard contact there by Hefner. Comes wrapping it back around. Hefner has it. Pitch forked up into the air, draws it down low. It's coming on net to Simon. He gets on top of it and gets the stop. At 8.49 here in the second period, 1.29 left here on the power play. One there by Fond du Lac drilling it forward. Ashwabanon takes possession. Moves it into the neutral zone. Comes all the way out. Gets it in on the attack. It's going to be number seven. Van Dice. Running it down low with the net. Swings it out to Shook. Shook gets it over to number 18. Caden Dorn. Dorn calls for it back. Gets it. Swings it over to Van Dice. Dorn once again walking in. Schober with the big save. One pad up in the air. It's a questionable technique that you use as you try and push yourself tight to the post. Could leave possibly, depending on your positioning, could leave some open. I thought it would be an icing, it was not. As they say, Ashwabanon got down the ice first. Van Dice with it, slams on the break again, bounces it. Puck in front again, that was a good hard shot. Schober fought it off, knocked down by the Fond du Lac players in front. 
trying to center it and getting it out front, laying on the ice, trying to get back up and hurt is number 20, Spees, fought off. Schober gets on top of it and gets the whistle, battling to find the puck. 11 seconds, good attack there by Ash Wabanon to try and put one in on that power play. Still 11 seconds left on the power play to number 14. 7.30 left on the Quest Interior scoreboard clock here in the second period. Fondelak tries to rim it around and gets it clear as they're unable to come over here and pinch the board. Simon stops it behind his net, this time leaves it for number 19, Mason Murray. And we're back to full strength. Fondelak kills off another. Picked up there by 17, Isaac Therian. Therian slams on the brakes, has it taken away by number 15, Austin, or Caden Umentum. Pops it into the neutral zone. On the stick of number 13, that's Ethan Pullen. Still held in the zone by Fond du Lac. Battling up against the boards. Squirts free, driven in on Simon. He puts it with the stick back into the corner. Kicked in there, held in there. Nice play there by the defenseman. That was Hefner. Picked up there by Lenz. Lenz makes a couple of moves in the neutral zone, starts to come in on the attack, chips it to himself. Off of the boards. Comes back, rubs him off of the puck. Fond du Lac had possession. Good job there keeping it in the zone. Six minutes left here on the Quest Interior second period. Skating through the neutral zone. Kicked in. The long change hasn't really impacted the Eshwabanon as I thought that it would. Skating with it, Weber. And unable to get it even towards the net. It was picked off there by the Ashwabanon defense. Good speed shown here by both teams. Chipped up in the air. Tried to get it down to number nine. James Murphy, Murphy gets rubbed. He's gonna squirt towards Simon. He's gonna put a stick on it, just bump it over to his defenseman. Still battling there behind it, off of the chest. Towards the net, Simon with a big save. Staying tight to the post. Back into the neutral zone. Cross ice pass, hits Murphy. Murphy drops it down low, tries to rim it around. Off of the dasher boards. Number 14 with a little bit of kiss against the half wall. Held in. 13 thinking he got a cheap shot in there. That's Ethan Pullen. Comes back, gets underneath the stick. 440 and counting here in the second period. Nice pass out to Spees. Spees tried to get it over to Marks. Just a little bit too much on it. Marks tries to pick. With a stick check. And Ashwabanon picks it up and gains possession once again. Shook with it. Gets it over to Van Dyce. Van Dyce makes a move coming on this side with him as Lampierre brought it back, comes back into the neutral zone. Slamming it on, and Schober's going to get on top of it. Marks went down awkward there with his skates sliding out and he's uh, seeing it's kind of a little bit gimpy on that left leg. I don't know if he pulled a groin or what. It did not look like he was at full strength. Just trying to get over the boards and onto the bench. I don't see the Tyler Swan going, or the athletic trainer going over and taking a look. Schober right away takes that shot on the face off. 4.03 here in the second period. Change of direction. Ash Wabanon with some good offensive time here. Hopped up out of 
play off of the stick of Lenz, so a faceoff is going to go down with 3.48 left here in the Quest Interior scoreboard. 0-0. Zero, zero. Van Dice in at center against Caden Umentum. Ashwabanon takes possession in the neutral zone, rips it down, given chase. It's Connor Klaprich, tried to change directions, get it back over to Hefner. Good move there by number four, Will Mothy. Gets it down, comes out. Here's an opportunity for Ashwabanon. They got numbers, makes the pass, and there's in the corner, scored nicely there. It's a great pass. At the 313 mark, the first score is going to be by Ash Wabanon. Number nine, it looks like on the score. The 313 mark. See what I can pick up from the announcer. Jackson Lampier, I think it was a great feed by number seven, I think was on the assist, but we'll see if that's what I actually saw. And Ash Wabanon scores first, has a one nothing lead on the breakdown defensively. Flying into the zone was Lampier. Fondlack with it now, trying to get the equalizer at the 254 mark, waiting for the announcement. Seven and two on the assist, so they got the secondary as well. So Van Dice is what I was told was the pronunciation. I, they said Van Dusey. I'm not sure which one is the correct one now. And from Shook. So nine from seven and two is the scorer for Ash Wabanon at the 313 mark on the clock. So as most of you know, that that would be 1647. I'm sorry, 14. Penalty is going to be called. Interference is going to be the call on number 13. At the 204 mark, so Fondlack with another opportunity here. Interference is the call. Five penalties so far in this period. Power play opportunity for Fond du Lac to see if they can get the equalizer here before the end of the second period. Shot, Simon drops it there. Good attack, nets off. I don't know how he was able to make that move that well. They've got two pegs underneath there, so it's pretty difficult to make their uh, Nets move without really driving it. 155 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. 150 left on the power play for the Cardinals. Trying to get the net set. Simons is definitely going to want that so that he can push off on that post and be able to drive. Trying to get a little bit of water there, a little bit of slush, see if they can get it to freeze up and plant here for the final 155. As I mentioned, it's the fifth penalty. Four penalties are in this period. Four penalties so far throughout the game for Ash Wabanon. And four for Fond du Lac. Getting it set up, Dianovic fires off of the blocker of Simon, pops it up into the air. Doesn't waste any time looking for it when he popped it up. That's one of the nice things I just noticed as well is he just hits the blocker on it, knows that it, where it's going to approximately be going. Spees is in there battling, trying to see if that's number 18 that's in there with him. Lenz comes back out to Hefner. 
Drops it back down to Lenz. Well, that's not Lenz. I'm sorry. That was Dianovic. Shot. Easy save. Seeing it all the way from Hefner. Simons. 119 left here on the power play. 123 left here in the second period. Fondlack with possession, trying to get it to work. Shot. Puck is free, but the defense from Ashwabanon is there to clear. Out to the blue line. Gives it back to Janovic through the skates. Good job of closing him. Out at the top slot. Fires. Save there by Simons with the blocker. Coming back the other way with numbers is number two and three. Good job there blocking it. And now they're going to get the penalty for taking him to the ice. It's going to be number 10, Dianovic. Going to call it a slash at the 55 second mark. And that's going to erase the power play for Fond du Lac. Four on four for the rest of the period here with 55 seconds left here in the second period. Ryan Saracen asking what that was all about. Gets a little bit of an explanation. And here we go back to live action. The Cardinals trailing one to nothing for on four. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, it, it is four on four. Why wasn't that icing? Hmm, I don't understand. It was sent all the way down by Fond du Lac. That should have been an icing call, it's not. A little bit sloppy here towards the end of the period by the Cardinals. It is four on four. Lost a little bit of their energy. Jace Weber now with it. Makes a move through the feet, slams on the brakes, looks. Gets it through the legs of the Ashwabanon player. Away out top. Knocked down by two Ashwabanon players and Simons grabs a hold of it with nine seconds left. I'm gonna say there's still time left on the clock. They shouldn't have released him. It didn't run more than a half a second. I don't know why they're really, I didn't think it did when I was watching, but so we'll see if they're gonna reset the time up there. Putting four seconds back up on the clock, wow. Shot saved by Simons. Rimming it around, stepping up, trying to get it out and hold at the neutral zone. And that's going to do it here for the second period where Fond du Lac gives up a goal at the 313 mark. One to nothing on the Quest Interior scoreboard. We're going to step away and we'll be back after these messages from our sponsors. I'll give a summary of the Holiday Automotive Intermission Report. And then we'll come back and see how things are going to roll out here in the third period. You're listening to Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. When you hire the attorneys at Everson and Gibbs, you're getting more than professional representation. The attorneys at Everson and Gibbs are committed to excellence and have been successfully representing their clients since 2005. Practicing business law, estate planning, probate, guardianships, and real estate. They work closely with their clients providing exceptional legal services that are catered specifically to their needs. Call Everson and Gibbs at 920-922-7113 or go to eversonandgibbs.com. Hey, I'm Jeff Cornelli. I'm the owner of Tavern on the Avenue, Bob's on the Avenue, Just Love Coffee on the Avenue. Just Love Coffee is a franchise out of Nashville, Tennessee. We uh, actually interviewed 30 different people and these people are above and beyond better than anybody else. 
90% of the money that is made in the coffee shop is donated charities. There's nothing in Fond du Lac like this business. It's very upscale, it's family oriented. We got kids games, the kids can play their games, the families can come here at birthday parties and uh, have coffee at the same time. Hey, I'm Jeff Cornelli. I'm the owner of Tavern on the Avenue, Bob's on the Avenue, Just Love Coffee on the Avenue. Just Love Coffee is a franchise out of Nashville, Tennessee. We uh, actually interviewed 30 different people, and these people are above and beyond better than anybody else. 90% of the money that is made in the coffee shop is donated charities. There's nothing in Fond du Lac like this business. It's very upscale, it's family oriented. We got kids games, the kids can play their games, the families can come here at birthday parties and uh, have coffee at the same time. Hi, this is Danny and Heather with AirTech Heating. At AirTech, our motto is honesty, integrity, and quality craftsmanship. When it comes to your home, you want the person working on your equipment to be upfront and tell you what you need, but also what you don't need. We deliver whatever it takes service to take care of you. Our technicians are Nate certified, meaning they are the most highly trained in the industry to be servicing your equipment. If you're stuck with a broken furnace or air conditioner, call our team at AirTech Heating at 924-6742. The greatest gift a parent can give their children is hope for a better tomorrow. We offer that Christian hope at Winnebago Lutheran Academy. WLA is a premier Christian high school open to the Fond du Lac, Oshkosh, and surrounding communities. We participate in the Wisconsin Parental Choice Program and offer generous financial aid, making this private Christian education accessible to all. Schedule a tour today at wlavikings.org. Are you unsure of what career path you want to take? Musa Sheet Metal is looking for motivated individuals to join their highly regarded apprenticeship program. Throughout the program, you'll learn the skills to be able to run your own job site. A career at Musa Sheet Metal is a chance to join a driven team working together to design and build products to help build communities. Learn more at musasheetmetal.com. That's musasheetmetal.com. Build products that build communities. Apply at musasheetmetal.com. Scotty's Auto Works, for affordable auto care from tires and alignments to routine auto maintenance. Trust the guys at Scotty's Auto Works, next to Pump and Pantry Fond du Lac. real cameras. What can I get for $5? You can become a member of Fond du Lac Credit Union and get some pretty amazing benefits. Really? Like what? As a member of Fond du Lac Credit Union, you can take advantage of all that they have to offer, including fewer fees, the best loan rates, in-house lending, and access to all the amazing programs and services. Wow! The cherry on top? When you become a member, you become part owner. That sounds like a great deal for only $5. Sure is. It's super simple to sign up. I'd like to order that. Oh, I'm sorry. We only sell coffee here. Welcome back to the Final Lap Blue Line. Quick review of the Holiday Automotive Intermission report. Brought to you by Holiday Automotive, worth the trip. The only score of the game so far came in that second period with 313 left on the clock, so it took a long time to find an opening from either one of the goalies. And Ash Wabadon found it as number nine, Jackson Lampierre, at the 313 mark, scored the first goal with an assist to number seven, Caden Van Dyce. And number two, Matt Shook. Other highlights of that period is there were three penalties by each team. And neither one of them gave up the goal um, on a power play. It was an even strength goal. So Ashwabanon at the 15-18 mark had a holding call. And then at the 13-53 mark, number seven for Ashwabanon took a tripping call, which gave him a five on three for about 30 seconds. And unfortunately, 
for the Cardinal fans. They were not able to score um, on that opportunity. Uh, the next penalty was by Fond du Lac at the 12.50 mark, so it erased the opportunity to have um, a power play. It went to four on four for high sticking, and then Fond du Lac picked up another penalty just as that one cleared at the 9.20 mark for charging by number 14, Austin Hughes. Ashwabanon responded or with, went for about seven minutes plus with no penalties, uh, but it flipped the, mark, the puck a couple of times out of bounds and uh, caused the period to run a little bit slower. Then at the 204 mark, 13 for Ashwabanon, Ethan Pullen takes an interference call, which put the Cardinals on the power play, but number 10, Drake Dianovich for Fond du Lac at the 55 second mark picks up a slashing call to nullify the opportunity with the power play. 101 is left on the power play here for Ashwabanon when they come back onto the ice for the third period and they have a one to nothing lead. We expected that this was going to be a fantastic contest just based upon the information that we had uh, that we were able to find. These two goalies are outstanding goalies with uh, Spencer Schober, just a sophomore, 5'11", 205, and uh, has a 2.51 goals against average, 91.4% save percentage where Fond du Lac hasn't been able to uh, take advantage so far in this contest is they have had 26.1% uh, power play percentage. You'd like to be at 25, 30 is awesome, and anything higher than that is really, really great. Um, but they've been right where they need to be based on typical averages. Unfortunately, on their power play opportunities today, they have not been able to be successful so far, uh, they haven't scored on their power play. Their penalty kill, though, has done the job also that it's supposed to do. It's a well above 75%. It's at 81%, having only given up five goals on 26 opportunities. So they have also taken more penalties than um, other teams that they have played against. Taking a look at the Ashwabanon Co-op here from Matt Golden. Uh, they... Again, Lincoln Simons, 145 shots, 139 saves, 96 save percentage, less than a goal uh, against average per game, which just is, again, phenomenal for a goalie. He's got four shutouts so far on the season. Their power play percentage is at 29.7%, so almost 30%. Uh, and they have yet to uh, be able to put one in on a power play either. They've scored 11 goals on 37 chances. Uh, and their penalty kill has been solid as they've demonstrated today. Uh, they're at 88% on the power, not in the penalty kill, uh, having taken 33 penalties and only given up four goals. So they have been phenomenal. Uh, we got the Zamboni that hit the ice a little bit late because they had Chuck a puck here. So we're going to step aside again. Here from our sponsors, um, as we're broadcasting the Fond du Lac Cardinals taking on the Ashwabanon Jaguars in some non-conference hockey action. We'll be back here shortly. You're listening to Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. March & Schmidt has been a global leader in the manufacture of industrial food cutting solutions for over 55 years. Our staff is committed to using leading edge technology to create custom designs specifically for the food industry. March & Schmidt is proud of our manufacturing process and strive to produce the highest quality machinery every day. We're focused on one thing, satisfying our customers and giving them the best quality product. A complete turnkey solution provider integrating both processing and packaging equipment. Our team is focused on our customers' overall success while the family values drive our relationships. Are you missing out on life? Does chronic joint pain prevent you from doing the things you love? I get it. All you think about is pain. 
This is Dr. Randy Blahoviak with New Medical Center. We have the solution to your problem. If you suffer from debilitating and chronic joint pain, learn how innovative medicine with human cellular tissue products can get you back to living your best life. Hi, my name is Les. I've suffered with a bad right knee for 30 years or 40 years. Actually, had a knee replacement scheduled, and I looked into this, and it was probably one of the best decisions it ever made. My knee now, three months later, is almost like new. I can run up and down stairs, I can sit at a gym watching a basketball game, really, really happy and pleased with the results. Plan is strongly recommending this to, and I have been recommending this to friends and family who have had joint issues, shoulders, backs, and knees. Call New Medical Center for an alternative approach with innovative medicine at Condex Corporation in Lamira is a proud manufacturer of cutting parts for the agriculture and lawn and turf industry. Condex is currently looking to add to their second and third shifts in various roles. Assembler, machine operator, and CNC operator. See for yourself what it's like to work in a company that's focused on innovation and continuous improvement. Condex offers a great work environment, including a climate-controlled manufacturing facility. Condex Corporation, 1500 Technology Drive in Lamira. Apply online today at Condex.com. Since 1933, you've come to trust Spies Painting for painting, sandblasting, and equipment restoration. Spies Painting does industrial, commercial, and residential. Not just painting, but wall covering, power washing, specialty coating, sandblasting, parts painting, and more. Highway 151 Fond du Lac. Good luck to the Cardinals and Warbirds in your games this week from the team at Spies Painting. Log on SpiesPainting.com. Welcome back to the Fond du Lac Blue Line as we're getting ready here for the start of the third period. I'm just going to do a little bit of messing around again with uh, trying to find uh, why the scoreboard just is not, it is not cooperating here. And I just don't have any clue what is happening with uh, why I cannot pull it up because it doesn't seem to be a cord issue. It doesn't seem to be... Just a matter of loss right now why I can't get that thing to work. So we'll have to do some more investigating here. I was hoping that I could get that Quest Interior scoreboard clock up and running here as we get ready. One more pass here of the Zamboni. Guess I'm going to try one more thing and see if I can get that, uh, get that to work here. So it's reading it there. You can see that I'm blocking your screen. So I just have not had these issues with this uh, camera or computer at all during this season. So I am just kind of surprised. I had the camera hooked up before and it was working. And it just stopped. Zamboni has cleared the ice, or obviously well, teams are going to get ready to come 
onto the bench. Now, I am just really confused, so I'm hoping I can figure this out once I get home and get this thing. Have a chance to take a look at the computer, but uh, so we're going to shut this thing down since uh, I can't uh, diagnose what the issue is right now. And we'll just continue to make the announcements here from Fond du Lac. The Fond du Lac Cardinals are trailing right now the Ashwaubenon Jaguars one to nothing with one period of play ready to go. Teams are called out onto the ice. Well, I am just really confused by that and I'm not uh, right now I can't figure out how to even diagnose it which is really even more confusing well here we go though one minute and th one second left on the power play opportunity here for Ash Wabanon Penalty kill here for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Have executed really well on the penalty kill so far and on the season at 81%. Eight shots apiece, they said, on net. So far, doing a good job here. Fond du Lac on the penalty kill. A little bit of moisture still out there from the Zamboni coming out late. Walking in, tried to get on the far side. Cleared again, nice job there by the defense and this is gonna do it here. I'm not sure what the whistle is. Number two is going to the box. I didn't see any penalty coming, but I wasn't really looking at it. See what the call is. He makes the call right away, and if you're not looking at him, you're not going to get it, so I didn't even see where it was. Two minutes slash. Von Lack on the power play. Here's their opportunity to get this thing back to equal. Goes underneath Weber's stick. Coming in with a bit of four check pressures. Jackson Watruba. Weber has it, keeps it out. Makes a good cut to the inside. Shot, Say Simons gets it underneath the pad. He almost lifted the pad there enough that it was gonna slide underneath as he went to make the kick save. 128 left here on the power play for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Claprich with it on the side, trying to get things set up. Tries to step inside, good active stick here. Pressure with good box set up, shot. Wide of the net, trying to get the ricochet to come off. Didn't quite come off far enough for Lens to get a hold of it. That's going to get rimmed around. That's going to get out of play. Or sorry, in the out of, out of the offensive zone. Fond du going to have to regroup. 55 seconds left here on the power play. 
Dianovic with it, skating in with speed, tries to cut to the inside. Had it taken off of his stick. Pinching his Claprich. Trying to knock it away. Picked up there. Spees has it. Back out front. Right on the stick of Dianovic. Off of Simons. Picked up again. Dianovic swings it out to the top. Let's get Weber, or sorry, take Hefner take it. He's running it at the point. Shot knocked down again by the defense. Giving go this time. Unable to get it with the 10 seconds left. It's going to clear it down, and that probably will do it for the power play opportunity for the Cardinals. And it's at full strength. Shot towards the net again. Icing is a call, waved off. 13.44 left here on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Fond du Lac trailing one to nothing to the Ashwaubenon Jaguars. Jaguars six and one on the season. The Cardinals four and three. Ashwaubenon's conference, I can't think of what it is right now. Um, I think it's Fox Valley, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Has really stepped up with Bayport being a super quality program. Notre Dame, number one ranking in the coaches poll this week. And the Ashwaubenon again sitting at six and one. Von Lack has been battling though. They had lost to, I think it was number three ranked, maybe uh, Chippewa Falls, I think might have been three ranked. They lost to them three to two. Schober gets on top of it, gets the save at 12.43 mark on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Get in the whistle. It's only given up the one goal, but right now that's the difference in the game. One nothing. Simons has yet to give one up. He's got four shutouts so far on the season. Trying to get it out, Fond du Lac did. But Ashwabanon was right there again. Drops it down low. Fond du Lac trying to get it out. Chip, Marks, gets it into the neutral zone. Squirts past, Dianovic going in with pressure. Klaprich was following. Tried to get it back to Dianovic, but it was in the skates. Hustle there by Marks. Good body contact. By Aiden Hefner. One of the fans from Ashwaubenon begging for a charge. I could see it up there. That was actually a good clean step up at the right time. 11.40. Left on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Fond du Lac still trailing by one. Picked up by Jace Weber. Good four check pressure here by Ash Wabanon. Keeping the puck down in their zone. Pulled out by Weber. Chipped off of the board. Sending them both for a hold for one. And I didn't catch the second one. It's number 20, Blake Spees. It's gonna be a rough and a hold. So 17 is gonna get called for the rough at the 11.15 mark. And Spees. And they got the wrong time up there. Coincidentals. Holding. Holding. 
So hopefully they get the clock right. That really doesn't even need to be up there. It's coincidentals. Two minutes for each team. They're not going to come out until the first whistle after two minutes. Getting really physical here. The Spondylac's trying to make sure that they can, uh, maybe they can find a weakness in the physical game. Nice work. Von Lack trying to hold it in the zone. They do. Five on five hockey here, even though there's penalty on both players. Number 17 is Isaac Therian. Good escape move there by Hefner. Trying to get it out. Good forecheck, though, by Ash Wabanon. Skating hard is Clapridge. Tries to take it to the net. Simon standing big and tall right there, right out front again into the low slot, but taken away by number 19, Mason Murray. Drops it, rims around into the corner. Ashwabanon holds it. Shot up off of the body of Schober, knocked down by Fond du Lac, trying to get it cleared out. That's Lenz over there battling with Fondelak. He's going to the bench for a change. It's going to come down. Good pressure again by Fondelak, but Ash Wabanon handles it really well and is able to get puck control and clear. That's going to be a tripping. It's going to be called on number 10, Dianovic. Stuck the leg out. You could see it coming all the way at the 9.02 mark. So Fond du Lac trying to play aggressive here but making some mistakes. Stop at play at nine minutes and two seconds. Penalty, Fond du Lac. Two minutes for tripping. Number 10, 902, once again for Ash Wabanon. Fond du Lac keeps flirting with danger here on their power on their penalty kill. Been able to execute all of them. That almost took that funny bounce. Got away from Schober. Trying to clear, held in by Ashwabanon. Finally does get it cleared out. And they're gonna have to reset here on their power play. Down 8.30 at the halfway mark of the period. Ashwabanon with control on the power play. Trying to get it out of their zone. Some good pressure being applied by Lenz. Has it, clears it all the way down. It's gonna sit up there against the net. Picked up by number 10, Zach Westcott. He's gonna get an icing as he whips it down. 7.59 here on the Quest Interior scoreboard. 57 seconds left on the power play. Fondlack trying to come from behind. They'll take a shorty here if they can get it. Number four, Will Mothy in at center. Taken away though by Ash Wabanon. Did a really nice job of skating. Hard check contact. They're sending number 19 to the box. Gonna try and have a conversation about this and see what the call is gonna be. Cross check, number 19 for Fond du Lac. 47 seconds of a five on three for Ash Wabanon, and Ash Wabanon has been skating all over the place, all over Fond du Lac. Not taking a good penalty here. The 749 mark. Trying to get it out, they do have control. Hefner, gonna skate a little bit with it to see if he can eat up some time. Moves it over to Mothy. Mothy shot it into the body of the Ashwabanon player.
Fondelac again able to drive it down and keep it down there. They've killed off most of this five on three so far. 15 seconds remains. Now moving with a little bit more speed, a little more purpose. Sash Wabanon. Six seconds left on the five on three. Walking in, high slot, swings. Dropping down to the circle, back at the high slot. Back at the top of the circle, steps in, fires, hits the post. Fires again up into the netting. And 108 left here on the power play still. Five on four for Ash Wabanon. What this really hurts for Fond du Lac though is they got to get a goal here and that's really hurting them to sit here and have to battle on the on the penalty kill. They can't really take advantage and try and leak somebody out to try and get the, the score that they need to get the equalizer. So again, banged off of the board, held in nicely there by number 10, Zach Westcott at the top. Again, taking their time, working it around. Back to him, missing on the pass and that's going to roll all the way down. Fond du Lac is just going to let him pick it up and reset in their defensive zone. Skates it in the neutral zone, gets out of the stick. Undercut there, I'm surprised that's not a penalty because it should have been. Tried to get the leak out on the shorthanded opportunity. Trying to rim it around, held in there by Ash Wabanon. Pops up into the bench, face off is gonna go down to the trapper side of Spencer Schober. 6-16 here on the Quest Interior scoreboard. One to nothing, Ash Wabanon with the lead. 27 seconds still on the power play. It'll be under the five minute mark, or under the six minute mark when Fond du Lac has an opportunity to be a little bit more aggressive. Now they have numbers if they can get there, but Ash Wabanon is playing a deep, uh, holding one defender right at the blue line. Make sure that no shorthanded opportunity gets in there and a good trailing position there by Caden Dorn. Held in. Von Lack trying to get possession against the board. Tried to chip it past and again, solid play by Ash Wabanon. Change of their players. Full strength for Von Lack as they kill off another power play by Ash Wabanon. Down in the corner, skating with it. Weber gets across the line. Tried to drop it to Dianovic. Up against the board, wrapped around. Lenz going in for some pressure. Spees tried to knock it off of the stick, unable to do so, gets it back out. Ash Wabanon's got a touch up, they do. They're gonna go for the change right away. Weber gets it out to Dianovic. Dianovic looks to take it into the zone, does, but a nice defensive play there again by Caden Van Dice. Van Dice has had a really good game for Ash Wabanon. Very impressed. First time I've seen Ash Wabanon play in many years. Matt Golden has done a fantastic job with this program. Down to 435 and counting. Good body contact there by Claprich. Number seven is hurt. Caden Van Dyce, so the gentleman I was just talking about, able to get back up on the ice. Not sure if he had a stinger in the shoulder or just had the wind knocked out of him. It's a hard body contact there by Claprich. 427, the Cardinals need to get something rolling here. Trying to extend this game. Not sure what that was all about. Van Dice was clearly had gone to the. That's why I'm not afraid to get physical either, but they've been uh, really strong. I'm really impressed with their skating abilities. 
and the tape-to-tape -to -tape passes. I mean, they've been pretty crystal clear with all of that type of stuff. Taken down, that's going to be a penalty on number 18, Lenz, for Fond du Lac. At the 401 mark. Didn't give me the sign again, but it's going to be a power play opportunity once again for Ash Wabanon. Hooking. That's an interesting call. Face off again. They throw Spees out of the face off circle. Dianovich is in. Trying to hold it in the zone. Ash Wabin, and they're doing a good job. They're leaking their defenders back. They are not going to take any chances of giving up a short handed goal here. In the final 340 of this third period, they're going to be happy to walk out of here with a victory. They don't care what the score is. one nothing will do that for them. Fond du Lac, on the other hand, has to see if they can get something rolling here with the final 330. Schober with a nice save getting all the way across the ice on a beautiful pass. That was an incredible save. All the way again. Good passes tape to tape. Then just pulled the pulled the lay. <laughs> I'd say the lace on it, but he had just uh, pulled a stick, lifted. Simons has it back by the net. Clock running. Coming down to one minute left here on the power play for Ash Wabanon. Fond du Lac. Trying to get possession. Trying to get it out. They do. Drop down low by James Murphy. 40 seconds left on the power play. Good read there. Good pick off here by Hefner. He's got help. Shot high up over the top of the cage. Looking for the shorty. Leaks out into the neutral zone. Ashwabanon trying to get a change. They do. They get one. And it's going to be dumped down low. Icing is going to be the call with 20 seconds left on the power play. So that definitely is going to help. Fond du Lac here getting a face off even though they only got four on the ice. Anything down in this zone, the opportunity to kill some time. One back there by Ash Wabanon. They're content as well. They've got the one nothing lead so if they get it out, great. They just don't want to turn it over and give up a bad opportunity here. Simons has been tough. Dumped down low with one second remaining and now we're down to two minutes left at we're at full strength right on the tape of Lampierre coming up and stepping on it wide of the net Lampierre Hells has it holds it in as he was trying to go for the change one forty and ticking away for the Cardinals of Fond du Lac Good tape to tape pass. Dianovich has it, steps inside, got the defense beat, and a good save, and another one, and it's saved again. Simons is hot. Three big saves. Fondelac should have scored there easily. And against an average goalie, you would. One oh nine and Tempers are flaring. They're sending them to the box. Good attack there by Fond du Lac, and I wish I had the replay. Three saves by Simons that should have gone in on any of the three. So Marks is going to the box. Sajewski is going to the box. Dianovich is going to the box. So the Cardinals are losing two of their top line players. Trying to see if they can get this all situated and straightened out here. 
if it would have been any other situation, this would be fantastic for Fond du Lac because they're getting a free timeout, but you pull your two, two of your top players off of the ice. So one is a charge that's called. Roughing is going to be called on one. I can see a high stick going to be called on one. Two minutes and an ejection, it looks like. I saw the symbol by the official here. At 109. Unbelievable play by Simons. They had the equalizer there. Twice they had the equalizer. He read the first one well, but the second one he came over and slid and then recovered on the rebound and recovered once again. Timeout's going to be called here. We're going to step aside for 30 seconds as Fond du Lac's going to take their one-minute timeout that they're allowed here. You're listening to Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. We'll be back in 30. Since 1933, you've come to trust Spies Painting for painting, sandblasting, and equipment restoration. Spies Painting does industrial, commercial, and residential. Not just painting, but wall covering, power washing, specialty coating, sandblasting, parts painting, and more. Highway 151 Fond du Lac. Good luck to the Cardinals and Warbirds in your games this week. From the team at Spies Painting, log on SpiesPainting.com. Integrity Saw and Tool is a proud sponsor of Fond du Lac Area Sports. They wish the best of luck to all local teams this fall and winter. Integrity prides itself on being the fastest producer of high-quality cutting tools and providing the most reliable sharpening service in the industry. If you're looking for a challenging career with excellent benefits and a family atmosphere, contact the team at IntegritySaw.com. That's IntegritySaw.com. Welcome back here to the final lap, blue line. Dianovich has called for charging. Marks has called for roughing. And a high stick on the number 11, Kaden Szczeski. One minute coming up here in the third period. Power play for Ash Wabanon. Wrapped around. Fond du Lac trying to put some pressure. They pull Schober to go five on five. In the slot, chipped away. They still have to leave one hanging back. That's gonna be picked up by number eight, Tyson Craig. Has it, 25 seconds, tried to get it out. Cross ice, gave it over. Hefner has it, back in the center, shot. Saved by Simons, turned over to the corner. 15 seconds left, Fond du Lac trying to do everything they can to get the equalizer right here. Shot hard, tipped up into Simons. He makes the save and sits on it with seven seconds left here in the third period in this contest. Simons once again. Holding the Jaguars into this contest. Schober has been pulled to try and keep it five on five. Gets it over to the side, brings it back out. Hefner tried to get it there. It's going to be cleared, go into the neutral zone, and that's going to do it as Ash Wabanon, one more shutout for Lincoln Simons, the goalie for Ash Wabanon, gets the victory here today. Fantastic game between these two teams. And Fond du Lac comes up on the short side as the Ashwabanon Jaguars pull out a victory here from the Fond du Lac blue line. 
We'll be back here as we're going to talk about the post-game show here after a couple of announcements from our sponsors. You've been listening to Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. When you hire the attorneys at Everson & Gibbs, you're getting more than professional representation. The attorneys at Everson & Gibbs are committed to excellence and have been successfully representing their clients since 2005. Practicing business law, estate planning, probate, guardianships, and real estate. They work closely with their clients providing exceptional legal services that are catered specifically to their needs. Call Everson and Gibbs at 920-922-7113 or go to eversonandgibbs.com. Welcome back here to the Final Lab Blue Line as we are finishing up our broadcast here on uh, Boys and Girls High School Hockey Weekend here. Once again, Final Lab Cardinals fall one to nothing to the Ash Wabanon Jaguars, and it certainly was not because of lack of effort. They were doing everything they could to battle and do everything they could to uh, get back into this game. Unfortunately, they have just run into hot and then super hot. Number 30, Lincoln Simons, the goalie for Ash Wabanon. So I'm going to have to tell you that this, my Marion University player of the game, is going to go to number 30 from Ash Wabanon, the goalie, Lincoln Simons, for his fifth shutout of the season. Ash Wabanon goes to 7-1. and one. And I don't know exactly how many shots they faced because they didn't give that to me and keep that up to date. But I would just guess there, he may have faced about another 8 to 10 shots there at the end. But he made a super save. And I think I'm also going to call that um, our BCI Burke play of the game. Uh, now hiring in different departments and shifts. Log on to BurkeCareers.com. The play of the game is going to be the goal that was scored in the first period, or second period, by Ash Wabanon's number nine, Jackson Lampierre, at the 313 mark in the second period, the game winning goal, with an assist to number seven, Caden Van Dice. And Van Dice was all over the ice today. And Matt Shook got the secondary assist. That's going to be the play of the game. And once again, the Marion University player of the game. Marion University has many different programs to choose from. Log on to marionuniversity.edu to get started today. That goes to Lincoln Simons. AirTech presents our next game broadcast. No matter which type of heating system you have in your home, the knowledgeable technicians at AirTech Heating can perform a timely repair if things go wrong. We'll be on the air. I believe that I'm going to be here for the Cowan Cup on Tuesday, which is in honor of Mike Cowan, as Wapan will be taking on, the Wapan Warriors will be taking on the Fond du Lac Cardinals for that Cowan Cup. Uh, right now, Wapan is, uh, is on a hot streak here in Division Two. They've been playing a lot of Division Two teams, again, which is expected. They're a Division Two program. Uh, but if Fond du Lac plays anything like they played today, I'm not sure how the Warriors will stand up to it, but again, in the Badgerland, any game is a rivalry game, and it could, anybody could come out with a victory on any given night, uh, depending upon how well those teams play. If I am not, I will be on air then on Tuesday. We'll be broadcasting, I believe, the Wapan Warriors girls basketball game, where they're going to be taking on the rematch, Kiwaskam Indians in Wapan. And if you recall, Wapan won the state championship last year in Division Three for basketball, and they had to go through Kiwaskum, and Kiwaskum had them on the ropes. 
So that's why it's called the rematch, because Kiwaskum could have easily won that game uh, over the Wapan Warriors and taken away their magical season. And uh, we'll see what's happening right now, because the Lady Warriors are doing a fantastic job um, taking on high-level competition, and they only got one loss to Brookfield uh, at Division I, number five ranked basketball team. Thanks again for listening to the broadcast. This is Jeff Sauer here on RP Sports. Hope you've enjoyed it. I really enjoy calling the high school hockey games uh, for you and hope that you have uh, enjoyed the opportunity to listen to this. Fond du Lac Cardinals fall once again to Ashwaubenon Jaguars. One to nothing here from the Fond du Lac Blue Line. This is Jeff Sauer with RP Sports. The following is a presentation of Radio Plus Sports. Radio Plus Sports. With five seconds left to go, trying down the right side, throwing it up, and he got it! Good ball movement, Kale Peterson, Water. up and under and in. And Gracie Gopalan puts it up, puts it in, gets knocked to the floor and to the free throw line. Madigan dumps it for Vandenberg, tries to wait over Gopalan, there's a three ball, that one's good. Harder has her, they switch on the screen. Stay with her. Here's Keel inside the paint and scores. It's a lot of contact there. Peterson with a college three points. Yes. Broadcast is sponsored by the following local partners Edward Jones, Integrity Saw and Tool, Bauer Chiropractic, Bondi Family Dental, Baker Cheese, Right Way Home Improvement, Quest Interiors, Addison Jones Real Estate, Holiday Automotive, Taco Bell, Bristol Morgan Bank, Coal Oil and Propane, Pioneer Pit Stop, The Spectrum Call Center, Pizza Ranch. National Exchange Bank and Trust, LK Interior Systems, Silica for your home. Rademan Stone and Landscape, the offices of Everson and Gibbs, Bob's Pizza, AirTech, Winnebago Lutheran Academy, Musa Sheet Metal, Scotty's Auto Works, St. Mary Springs Academy, Canberra Casino, Fond du Lac Credit Union, Marchant Schmidt, New Medical Center, Dr. Kathy Doyle Kelly, DDS, Condex Corporation, Fox Valley Savings Bank, BCI Burke. Marion University. The complete broadcast schedule can be found at radio.